Hello everyone, this is Boricua Bings and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Where we last left off, we did the whole section of the final dead room with Nagito. And now we have just switched back to playing as Hajime, thank goodness. But Nagito appeared out of nowhere and uh, pretty much was telling them what happened. Except he's also acting really weird towards Hajime, like, hmm, what's going on? So let's continue on and see. Also, depending on how long this section before the trial is, I have to see. Like, if it's more than 15 minutes, then I probably won't have the trial as part of this episode. If it's very short, then I'll probably just start the trial. Okay, let's continue on. Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hope's Peak Academy? Man, in a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Because you were... <laughs> just some reverse... Uh, reverse, wow. Just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Which we didn't even know existed? Like, eh? Huh? Well, unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who enter the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute or the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. The Reserve Department pretty much only exists to increase Hope's Peak Academy's revenue stream. Reserve Department? Substitute? Second string? Oof, that's gotta hurt. Revenue stream? <laughs> okay, it's true that in these games, all the protagonist loves to do is just repeat everything they hear. <laughs> Why do they do this? Why? What is he saying? <laughs> like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You're just a pleb. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Isn't that right? Which means you're just a step ladder. <laughs> step ladder versus ladder argument. Comments. <laughs> you're just like me, a stepping stone. <laughs> but you should feel honored. An average, talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell does that mean? Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire Hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope's Peak Academy, like a fangirl following the latest trend. How dare you judge him considering how you act? It's not like that. I... Stop. Wanted to become Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. It's pathetic. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. There's no mistake. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. Oh my god, how many times is the word hope going to come up in this game? <laughs> oh, I wonder, I'm sure somebody had to have done a tally at the end, you know? It's just crazy. You don't even know? That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that? <sighs> It's just interesting how 
pretty much up to this point in the game, Nagito, even though he's crazy, he has like like this very obvious crush on Hajime. And I mean, I joke about it, but it's so obvious, you know, that a lot of the, the fans pretty much consider it canon, right? That he has this crush on him. And that he's dying to know what his talent is. But the moment he finds out that he doesn't have a talent, the way he treats him is so completely opposite. So in my mind, he goes from being like a masochist to being, you know, a statist. <laughs> so it's just interesting, the duality of Nagito. He's a piece of garbage, but he fascinates me at the same time. You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. Then... I... I'm just... <laughs> That's right. You never were an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. <laughs> Talent. I'm just an ordinary high school student. Man. Oh, I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student. <laughs> There's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. But if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous killing school life, Byakuya, would have been the most likely candidate. But now that's probably impossible. Wow. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Stop having a... <laughs> a crisis. <laughs> It. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Oh. Well, it may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mechamari's murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is going to die together anyway. In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey! You said you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the Octagon, right? Hey! Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? Which I still think is like the dumbest title for it. It's... it's really dumb. So... did you find out what it was? <sighs> Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtained there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret, you piece of garbage? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. Ah, <sighs> jeez. I guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... You're right, I did go to a place that seemed to be the Octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie, there's no way that's possible. Stop it. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What did you say? Oh, fine, I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting, anyway. If you won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating Mechamaru's case? We better hurry. 
the case the class trial is gonna start soon. You're right. You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to this side any moment now. Bye now. Then, while we're at it, I'll go on ahead. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Don't listen to him. He's an asshole. It's okay. I already know. You want me to focus on Nekomaru's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah. I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving, then. Yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekomaru's case. Aww. Poor Hajime. Okay, what else is there to do at this point? Maybe I should ask her? Oh well. I think she's traveling with us, so... Maybe we gotta reunite with everybody? <laughs> yep, there they are. <laughs> I have returned from the depths of hell. G Gundam! Yo! Yo, sorry we're late. Hey. Just so you all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator despite not having any tools. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Hey, hey! Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. Hey. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? Huh? Oh, the thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think this compass might be broken. You stay quiet. I didn't ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. Yeah, he's acting like that in general now. <laughs> huh? Whoa. The compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees? <laughs> I see. It's just as I thought. Huh? Hey, what do you mean by that? That's well, obvious. obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator... rotated? Now then. Now then, I should go investigate Nekomaru's body. As if he were thumbing his nose at us, Nagito began making his way toward Grape Tower. God, I hate him so much. <laughs> oh my. The hell is wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? Like he's got a stick up his butt? Nagito, what do you know? How much do you know? Okay. Okay, let's talk to Gundam since he's standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> I've made you wait. Judgment! The time has come to destroy all murderous illusions. Okay. Nice to see you too, buddy. Uh, anything else useful you gotta say? Hmm. As soon as I came over here, I checked this first, but it looks like the panel was definitely forced open. The elevator panel. Hey. Uh, um, it might be better if I explain how the elevator was broken, huh? No, I heard the gist of it from Nagito. They broke the elevator by tampering with the safety device, right? Right! Oh, looks like word travels fast. Check out that panel over there. It's just as I thought. Looks like they forced open the panel and changed the settings by tampering with the safety device. It definitely looks like the panel was forced open, which means the elevator was broken at Grape House. Okay. Hello? Damn right! Nekomaru should be inside Great Tower. Yeah. I'll go on ahead. We were a little late. Okay. Uh, I guess we gotta go back in there. Anything new in here? You serious? Good. 
Yukimaru, are you, you serious? Damn it. Damn it. I don't know who did this, but this is pretty fucked up. Hey. Now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. Well, we've already investigated everything we can here. Wow. No, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right? But Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? Huh? Hmm? That's fucked up, man. It cannot be! Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body? I won't forgive you! Don't screw with me! Hasn't Coach Nekomaru been through enough already? You don't know? Been through enough? We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane? Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekomaru. D damn it! Why you? You stay quiet. If you suck at using your... If you suck at using your brain, and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. Damn it. Ugh. Jeez. Come on, Kazuichi, what are you standing there for? Look at him bossing everybody around. Wow. Ah. Damn it, fine. I just have to do it, right? Sorry, I gave him the wrong accent for a second there. I know I said I wanted to see his insides, but not like this. This is just too much. Well, come on. Are you guys feeling okay, too? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Monkey Toe, there's something... There's definitely something wrong with you. In addition to everything else that was already wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but... Seems like that's not entirely the case. His attitude toward everyone else is strange now, too. But why? Uh-huh. I mean, have you done it? Damn it! I've come so far. There's no way I can get sentimental at a time like this. I feel awful for Nakomaru, but this is necessary if we're gonna find out the truth behind this case. As he forced out his voice through his clenched teeth, Kazuichi faced Nakomaru. His eyes full of determination and began stabbing his tool knife into Nakomaru's body. Oh yeah, I forgot that um, he got that little knife from Nagito. Which still, like, the fact Nagito had that at all on him concerns me. <laughs> huh? Where did you get that tool knife? Huh? Nagito gave it to me. He said he had it already before we even went to the amusement park. Doesn't that mean Nagito is the only one who should have been able to mess with the control panel? So Nagito did that too. It's like Nagito has full control of the situation. Maybe... Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nakomaru died, I mean, stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso is covered in huge dents and his parts are dislocated. Hmm, maybe a gear shaft broke too? Well, for now, I tried disassembling Nekomaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? If that's the case, I need to look at Nekomaru's body one more time. Okay. Apparently, Kazuichi is finished disassembling Nekomaru's body. Alright. Let's look at his chest then. Nekomaru's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. The hands of the clock look like they're pointing to 7.30. Also, it looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Which means this clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30 a.m. Hmm, okay. But 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should have arrived at Grape Tower just before 7 a.m. for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock not functioning? No, wait. Yeah, he said it's not possible because it's a radio clock. Top of the clock, uh, automatically updated the time. Yeah. That's right, it's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. <laughs> I've become a Time Lord! Oh, Nekomaru. Okay. An accurate radio clock that never slows down, huh? 
If that's the case, why does this broken clock say 7.30 a.m.? Interesting. Anything else? Something protruding from the back of Nakamura's neck. It's the goodnight button that forces Nakamura to enter sleep mode. By chance, did the killer press this and force Nakamaru into sleep mode? Maybe the killer really did press this to make Nakamaru enter sleep mode. Even so, it's the back of Nakamaru's neck. Getting behind him to press it would be a Herculean task. Okay. I mean, I guess that's it. We already examined everything else. I should back off for now. Yeah. What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nekomora's body, and it almost seems like he's glaring at him. Weird. What? I don't want to talk to you! You're the worst! Jeez, this is the worst! Huh? Jeez. You guys overlooked an important clue. I swear, you're just the worst. As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about, you a-hole? Well, I found this under a fragment of the pillar that tipped over. Is, is this a doorknob? You don't even know? Looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like there are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Hey, don't you think it's strange? I mean, I have to admit that he did find stuff that we haven't, <laughs> you know? I feel like without him, we wouldn't have gotten this far in the investigation, but it's also frustrating because I can't stand him. <laughs> if we examine the far back door in Great Tower, the doorknob is still intact, right? Now that you mention it, you're right. Now then. If that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? If it's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. It'd have to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we entered from, right? Well, well it makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> we should try it out. Try it out? How? You don't know? We take the elevator to Strawberry House and we enter Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. That's the only way we can see the other side of that door, right? But the button to open the door in Strawberry Hall is broken, right? It's obvious. We can just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well, well, you're right, but I need parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? Huh? See? Just use Nekomaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. Wow. Hold on. Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? <laughs> oh god, the crazy eyes are back. It's called recycling. It's a much better alternative than disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? Junk? Hey. Well, Kazuichi, is it possible or impossible? He's horrible. Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Seriously, hold on! Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain? What, you didn't notice? Stupid asshole. <laughs> the door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on the strawberry hall side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? I don't need to worry? What does that mean? No. Kazuichi, we should go over to strawberry hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished. <laughs> Hajime, you're going to come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, if there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. Right? So you should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. After tersely saying that, Nagito left the area. What the hell? Huh? What the hell happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Mm, who knows? He's crazy. 
Damn right. Oh, that reminds me. Nagito asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. It had something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what it could mean. Hey. Actually, to tell you the truth, Nagito asked me to do something weird, too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks? So I did what he asked and checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. But why did he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower too? Along with the doorknob matter, there are still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries. Maybe. Jeez. Pathetic. Looks like that's all we can do. Let's hold up. Let's head over. Right. What Nagito said about the door opening. What is he planning to do about the chain? Looks like it won't come off easily. So does Nagito have a plan or something? Jeez. I don't understand this at all. I guess we gotta go. So it looks like this episode is gonna be a standalone because we had more to investigate than I thought. Alright, um, let's just go take the elevator. Oh, there it is. Thanks to Kazuichi, the elevator's working now. Alright, let's go. That's weird. I guess everybody from the back is all gone. And I guess, uh, yeah, Kazuichi and Nagito are gone already. Locked to the elevator, made our way to Strawberry House. It's been a while since I've come to Strawberry House. What's up? Hey, you're here. Hey, hey. Kazuichi, how'd the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the parts, so I was able to fix it right away. You? You've got a loud nerve saying that when you use Nekomaru's parts without my permission. Hey, hey. Well, I mean, even so. Now then. Anyway, now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What will happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? Even so. But there's no way it'll open. You haven't done anything about the chain. Hey! The door to Strawberry Hall behind that Kamala's body was blocked off by that chain, remember? If you didn't do anything about that, it doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the outside. <laughs> well, we'll know if we try it out. Yeah. It's not even worth trying it out. No, we've all come this far. If he's saying we should try it out, then we should give it a shot. Yep. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, and let's go. There's no way the door will open. Now on the other side is chained up. With a feeling of resignation, I press the button. Oh? Why did it open? Impossible! Impossible! Where did the chain go? Hold it! Hold on a sec, that's not the only thing that's strange. That's right. There's no other way to say it. This definitely looks weird. So... What do you mean, huh? Hey, hey! Hey, doesn't this all look the same as when we were in Grape Tower? Yeah, you're right. When we were inside Grape Tower, Nekomaru's body was in front of the far back door. Mm -hmm. Which means his body should be in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. So if we enter from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door as we walk in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nekomaru's body in front of the door to Grape Hall? Not just that, the parts that I carefully arrange when I disassemble the body all move too. The body isn't the only thing that moved. Even the tipped over pillar and the spoiled oil. They've all moved the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered from Grape Hall. Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. 
as if it all rotated 180 degrees, right? I can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but is that really what this means? No, it's more than that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. The mystery is so great that it could drastically affect the outcome of this case. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. Okay. Strange feeling in tower. And the whole chain thing, yeah. I see. The chain disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> yep, just as I thought. It was definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought. Then you already knew about this mystery. <sighs> you have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? See? That door at the far back with the picture of a grape on it? Maybe there's a clue hidden there. There's a clue on that door? Mm-hmm. It's the door with the picture of grapes on it. This should lead to Grape Hall. Wait, huh? One of the doorknobs is gone? It's like the screws came out with it. Now then. It's the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See? See? The screws came out with it, right? And the doorknob next to Nekomaru's body came off the door to Grape Hall. Oh. Well, that's what it looks like. When you said clue, are you talking about this? But... What is it a clue to? Mm -hmm. I think he's like 10 steps ahead of everybody. Oh, did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry, just one clue will change everything. Huh? All the mysteries will be solved as if everything were linked together. If you can reach it. Just like I did. What does that mean? Even if I ask him that, Nagito probably won't give me an answer. So it'd just be a waste of time to ask. Well, that's it! It appears! To tell you the truth, I'm tired. Extremely tired! I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already! Man, I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy! I just want to ditch! <laughs> <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it, I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take this seriously. What the hell? Here I was gonna skip over it thinking it was the same. Let's go to the trial, but nope. <laughs> Looks like it's going to start. Another class trial. Hey, hey! But how are we supposed to get the, to the trial ground? Damn it! You're right. We can't do anything unless we get out of this building. Hmm? Hmm? Um, Akane, did something happen? Hey, hey! No, well, do you guys hear something? Hear something? Hey, hey! What do you hear this time? Suddenly, as if cutting off Chiaki, our surroundings started to shake and rumble. And then, it suddenly appeared before us. Oh my god, Nekomaru's body! No! How is it that none of them were standing in the way and got affected by that? <laughs> is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. I think they're all acting rather blasé over this. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Just hold on, Nekomaru. I'll make sure I avenge you. Jeez. Jeez. At least be a little cautious. It's obviously a trap. It appears you cannot escape. I agree. I detect the scent of danger. Even my familiars are saying do not go inside. It's nearly showtime! I love the way he said that. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. 
How interesting. If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. Um, now then, we shall get moving as well. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Ah, it's annoying, but if Miss Sonia's going, there's no way I'm not gonna go. Damn it. Uh, but it's so damn annoying. I guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, everyone went into Monokuma Rock. Until I was the only one left. And when I was about to take a step forward... We're the same. The same. Step ladders. Huh? Nagito was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked on to Monokuma Rock. Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. Well... You and I are just stepladders for everyone who holds the title of ultimate. I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? Man, that's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. But it wasn't. There is no hope amidst all this killing. Of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? Huh? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Isn't that right? After all, that's what it means to live, right? See this, like, obsession he has? That he still always wants to talk to Hajime, even though he's creepy, as always. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to accept that. Well... Oh, well. It's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's this one novel I like. It's a peculiar, uh, it's a peculiar mystery story. Huh? A novel? Why are we talking about this right now? Um, the story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end, <laughs> surprise, surprise! The girl was actually the killer. Of course, the story is written carefully, so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a projection of the reader, and this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? What the heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can't comment on a book that I've never read before. No good at all. Such a normal answer. I should have expected that from a talentless reserve course student like you. Ugh. <laughs> but I know that you don't matter at all. So why do I care about you? See? Super gay. You admire hope. I love hope. Right? In some ways, we're similar. But maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. Enough already. Stop flirting with also being really rude to me. <laughs> I don't have time to argue with you. Let's go. Everyone is waiting. Man. Everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else? <laughs> Reserve course students are so full of themselves. <laughs> Nagito's chilling laugh continued as he disappeared into Monokuma Rock. Calm down. That's right, I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths, and once my nerves had settled, I stepped into Monokuma Rock. Okay. Here we go. Man, so many people are gone. The elevator shook violently as it descended 
at an ever increasing speed. Hey. When we're in a normal elevator that shakes this bad, it reminds me how efficient that elevator in the funhouse was. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. The elevator continued to shake and descended deeper and deeper. And suddenly, it stopped like it always does. And the door opened. Ugh, my eyes! Ugh, this, this background is horrible. I understand your desire to applaud this wonderfully vulgar trial ground. But it's so exhausting to discuss useless things. So let's just get on with it already. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. My chest hurts. Forcing everyone to do this is so sad. Hey, hey, hey don't go talking now. without permission after I've said my catchphrase. Now I'm really angry. What? Otherwise, I'll roll a dice, and based on the result, I'll give you a sex change operation that many times. What the frick? That's creepy. Why would they include that? What an extreme punishment. What the hell? Now then. Let's get on with it once again. <laughs> Let's get a move on, boys and girls. And so it begins. I hoped this would never happen again. And now it's happening for the fourth time. The curtain to the fourth class trial was about to open. Nekomaru Nidai, the ultimate team manager. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone I'd ever met. Truly, he was more man than any of us. He sacrificed his body to protect Akane, and his appearance changed drastically because of that. But he still tried to live earnestly. And just when I finally got used to his new form, Nekomaru's killer is one of us. Wow, so many of them are dead on this page. Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let this be excused. I won't forgive this. The person who betrayed Nekomaru who betrayed their friends. I will never, ever forgive them. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. All right. Okay, nice lengthy episode, actually. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and uh, of course, in the next one, we'll start the fourth trial of the game. So, until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.